If you're using Gmail or any of the Google online applications, I want to point out a quick tip that's going to help improve and customize even further some of the services that you're using and already enjoying. So here I am in Gmail, and I want to take you to what's called the Gmail Labs, L-A-B-S. So if you click Settings up here in the upper right-hand corner once you're logged in, and then click Labs right here on the Settings tab. And again, this works in the calendar. This works in the Google Documents. It works in almost any of their online application. These are some features where some of where their engineers come up with new enhancements or new functions that aren't included in the final product of whatever you're using. So for example, here in Gmail, I've enabled a few of these things. One of the things I've done is authentication for verified senders. So for example, eBay, my bank, things like that. By enabling that, it'll put a little key next to who it's from to make sure that that is indeed not a phishing type of email. It allows you, if you use filters, to, to import and export filters, which is very nice. It allows me to show my calendar, because I use the Google Calendar, right in my email. I've enabled that one. If you're a Google Voice user, you can enable that. You can see I've enabled a lot of these. Inserting images. Here's one where a lot of folks would like to insert an image into the body of a message, like some previous email programs. So go ahead and click Enable there, and that will give you that same functionality. One of my favorite buttons is the Mark as Red button. So I can check a bunch of, of emails and then hit the Mark as Red, and then they all get marked as Red. Another one of my favorites is the ability to drag and drop different parts of Gmail in, in places where I want them. But again, these are all add-ons that you can enable or disable at the very bottom or the top of the screen after you've enabled or disabled. Make sure you click Save Changes and then those functions will automatically show up. I'm going to go to Google Calendar here and click Settings and show you that they have some labs here as well where you can enable and disable certain functions for the calendar. So they've got these available in most of their applications. Make sure you're taking advantage of the Google Labs on most of the Google online applications.